Hi, everybody on Facebook. We're here with Keisha Knight Pulliam, who yes. is waving to her daughter off Hi, camera. Ella. <laughs> Ella Grace was saying, Mama, right before you yes. came on set. Yes. So, how does it feel to be back home with her? I'm so grateful to be back home, and she missed me so much, and I missed her too. But more than anything, like, you don't realize, like, when you're away, like, oh, you can pump, you can pump, and you think that that will work for yeah. an extended period of time. I'm learning, I'm a new mom, I don't know everything. And um, I just learned actually earlier today on the talk that, in fact, you do have to have actual breastfeeding and pumping. If mm -hmm. you don't, your milk will dry up. So I made the right decision. Yeah, I, I remember when I was a new mom, I came back to work, and just the stress helps and dry you up too. the stress right? was definitely a factor with <laughs> Big Brother. So how good it, did it feel? Like, did you, when you went home, did you just like sneak into her room and say oh, hi? Oh, she was sitting, my mom had her waiting for me, <laughs> had her bath, she was sitting there, and she was the first person I saw when my mom opened the door, and I just hugged her and picked her up and kissed her, and it was so nice to just cuddle with her. She's still waving. It was so nice <laughs> so to cuddle cute. with her last night. Mm. And have you been showing her, like, can we show her at the end? Uh, no, I, I okay, don't she's put, like, I can let her, I know this is what I do, but it's just, you know, I want her to be a kid and just yeah. to enjoy and have that sense of privacy. But it's been booby snacks unlimited since <laughs> okay. I've been home. <laughs> well, let's talk about your spice line because yes. we talked to Chuck Liddell yesterday. Okay. He was hey, on Chuck. set. I love Chuck. <laughs> well, he was bragging about your food. <laughs> and it sounds like a lot of people cooked in the house. Tell me, was everybody like stirring up spices? Yeah, you know, everyone did enjoy my spices. And it was funny because that was the first thing when I left, I could hear on the audio, they were like, but who's going to cook? I was like, don't <laughs> worry. I left my spices. You guys will be fine because that's one of my many loves. Um, I've worked, this is, I've had my spice line. It's called Keisha's Kitchen. You can go to Keisha'sKitchen.com and purchase my spices. So I currently have a meat, a poultry, and an all-purpose seasoning. Mm. And they really are really good on everything, even if it's veggies, if it's fish if it's pork so we had fun with it we had nice. vegan dishes with Keisha's kitchen we had pot roast we had all types of stuff in the house oh it sounds great yes very different from normal Big Brother which is yeah very different <laughs> <laughs> okay so starting with that we're gonna do some quick questions okay. just having some fun okay. so your favorite spice uh, Keisha's kitchen the trio <laughs> okay the trio favorite food oh, rice and gravy Rice and gravy. That was probably one of the last things I made. That's like comfort for yeah. me. And it was so funny. I taught a bunch of the house members how to make gravy. <laughs> it is tough. It's, it's a gift. Yes. Like you have to like be patient. The flour yes. goes slow. You have to brown it nicely. Mm -hmm. Don't burn it. Season it just perfectly. So they did learn something in the house. Yes. <laughs> when they weren't backstabbing and conniving. Yes. They learned guacamole. They learned rice and gravy. They oh, learned nice. a couple different things. Oh, great. Um, okay, so do you prefer to talk on the phone or text? Talk. You do? Mm -hmm. I'm not a big texter. Like, I prefer, like, a lot of times I'll pick up my phone, I'll see a text, and in my mind I've responded to mm -hmm. it, but in actuality it never quite happened. <laughs> and then it's that embarrassing point when you go to actually text oh, that person, yeah. and then you see, like, a week ago they asked you a question that you never <laughs> quite responded to. Do you just pretend it didn't happen? No, I'll be like, I'm so sorry. I answered <laughs> okay. that question in my mind, but <laughs> forgive right? me. Charge it to my head, not my heart. I love it. <laughs> Okay, so you're famous. That's one reason you're on Celebrity Big Brother. What is the craziest rumor you've heard about yourself? You've been in the industry a long time, so I'm sure there's a lot. Lord, there have been so <laughs> many crazy rumors just on a day-to-day -day basis. Who knows? But, you know, I really make it a point not to really even buy into or look for those sort of things. I just live my life, and yes, this is what I do, but, you know, one thing that I do feel you got a glimpse of in the Big Brother house, I'm just really me. I'm really normal. I wear sweatpants to bed. You know, it's a good day when I don't don't have baby throw up in my hair and I just really kind of enjoy and live my life it's not all about the glitz and the glamour it's just one it's just a byproduct of what I do yeah well I've always heard don't read the comments which I know y'all are commenting right now and they're not always nice but and you then know, you get a block delete it's really simple <laughs> like it's so much easier to be nice than to be mean-spirited and a and lot of people are nice I will say most, most people of our I must are. say yeah. that I've gotten such an overwhelming just support for my decision to, you know, evict, be evicted from the yeah, Big Brother house tough. because it's about my daughter. At the end of the day, it's really, really about family. She is first and foremost, and everything that I do is for her. And I will never sacrifice any of her needs for any amount of money. Yeah, well, that's that's why you're a great mom. Thank okay, you. what's the best piece of advice you've ever received? My mom always tells me to never let anyone steal your joy. 
And I feel like more people need to realize that that's a choice, that you have power in deciding. That's a good so one. often people feel like, oh, so-and-so did this to me, or this happened, so I was a victim of. But you have to understand that ultimately, your happiness and your joy is up to you. You can't control what happens to you, but you can control your input. You can control how you respond to it. And just to always decide to take the high road, decide to be happy, let it be their karma, and to follow your intuition. That was the biggest thing in the Big Brother house. I am so grateful. My intuition was so on point, so much, and I listened without question. You just, you could feel it. I could feel it. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, well, you're in the house. Like, there's so much energy. I'm sure you get really sensitive to a lot of things. Yes. Especially being a new mom. Okay, so if you could watch one show for the rest of your life, what would it be? Aside from Celebrity Big Brother. <laughs> Or the Cosby Show at House yeah. of Pain. No. Um, my favorite movie, randomly, we talked about this in the house, is Dirty Dancing. Aww. That is like my happy space. I don't care what's going on in the world. I can put Dirty Dancing in. I don't care if I saw it earlier that week yeah. and it comes on TV again. I will stop and watch Dirty Dancing and mouth every line and every lyric to every song the entire movie. I'm probably the worst person ever to watch Dirty Dancing with. Because <laughs> you're just like, wait, this is yes, coming. Like, all of it. Let me just ruin it for you. Okay, you're an actress. Do you do any impressions? Um, do I do? <laughs> well, in the house, like, it's, I'm not an impressions person, but, like, I will imitate, like, I did a funny impression of Omarosa when she first came in um, to Big Brother, because oh, she, like, was this, this hurricane coming in and twirling, and, <laughs> and when she came on stage, I was like, oh, my God, what am I in for? <laughs> and then Mark had this habit of, like, walking around the house in his robe and his slippers, like shuffling. Because he'd always be like complaining about something under his breath. So it was like a running joke when I'd be like, you know, do Mark. So yes, those, that's all I have for today. Okay, Amorosa, <laughs> she's fabulous. You mm -hmm. two really hit it off. Did you yes. think going in, I mean, I was watching mm -hmm. the first interaction. Mm -hmm. When you both started talking, I was like, uh-oh, this could go one of two ways. You know, I really did not anticipate. I, If you would have said me and Amorosa would have clicked and really bonded, I would have been like, you are crazy. But I really went into the house, and I approached life in a manner where I just allow people to show me who they are. And I don't walk into it with assumptions or preconceived notions about you. I allow you to show me through your actions and how you show up. And I'm really grateful that I did that with Omarosa. And the other thing is, as people, we can disagree. We can come from different political standpoints. We can have different opinions on things. And as women, we can discuss them in a respectful, rational, logical, loving manner. And we can agree or we can agree to disagree. And I'm grateful that we had that you know, on camera so that people can see that, that women aren't always throwing drinks at one another, aren't always calling each other out their names. That does not have to be our norm. Well, what was so disappointing is you started Black Girl Magic, and then all of a sudden, it was like everybody turned on both of you. Well, let me say this. That was not disappointing because Black Girl Magic still exists, and the fact that we were able to come through that house and be an example for all the little girls that are watching that just because we don't have to be at odds, we can root for one another, we can support one another, we can uplift one another, and there is an abundance that we didn't have to feel like one person would steal the other person's light or shine. I feel like we did a really good job to help amplify each other's light, and that's what Black Girl Magic is about. And even though I'm not still there, I'm sending her all the black girl <laughs> magic she can just receive and praying that she does well in the house because ultimately that was what was so disappointing about the Women's Alliance falling apart. You know, I have my nonprofit, the Camp Kizzy Foundation, which is all about empowerment and self-esteem for women, for girls, and I have my boys program too. And I was so passionate about having a girls alliance. I thought that was so important, especially in the climate of everything going on today, that we were able to stick together. So many people want to say, oh, girls can't do that, or girls can't, and I beg to differ. We can. All women don't fight and bicker. I have girlfriends that I've had for 30 plus years that and we are thick as thieves and it does exist just because it is not highlighted in mainstream media on TV doesn't mean it isn't there well said okay so we're already talking about the house okay let's let's ask a few questions okay. who's the messiest person in the house you know it's really hard when you live with so many people to know who left the, the glasses in the sink that was like the ongoing mystery but I have to say that most like everyone was really good but when you have 11 people in one bathroom it's easy for things to get messy no matter how you pick up after yourself no matter how clean yeah. you are so it could have been a lot worse Oh, that's nice fair fair answer Could have been a lot worse who was the neatest 
probably me, <laughs> me or Mark, because we were always cleaning stuff. That's like good. if you, you need probably, somebody, in they there. probably have like a montage of me just cleaning stuff. I like had cleaning gloves on all the time, from the shower to my sheets to. I think I was the only person who washed my sheets. Oh, oh no, yeah. I, there was some kind of stat that came out that guys who live alone wash their sheets like every six weeks. That is I disgusting. It, yeah. <laughs> who was the weirdest? Um, <laughs> and I mean this with all the love I can muster <laughs> up. I do believe that, and I won't say weirdest. I will get the most unique. unique. Okay. Would be Meta, yeah. Meta World Peace. <laughs> He's so fun to but watch. But I love him. He's so authentically he himself. He is so <laughs> authentically himself. And we had some really, really great conversations in the really? house. And you know, I just I'm one of those people. I let you be who you are. I'm not trying to change you. I'm not trying to you know assess you or to judge you. And we could talk about everything from he's building all of these amazing like yeah. online platforms and all of these different businesses that he invests in. He gave so much great business advice to having like a crazy outburst. And I just kind of be looking at him. <laughs> but the beauty of it is he could have this crazy outburst. And then he was actually like we kind of stayed in like a weird hallway room. So we were roommates. So I could look across the bed to him, and then we could have a completely sensitive like. Like, okay, well, let's go back and completely have a whole long conversation about it. So I really enjoyed getting to know him. Yeah, he's, he's very likable. Yes. Who's the biggest backstabber? Shannon. I think she's proven that very well. Yeah. So far, but we never know what will happen. I interviewed her before she went in the house, and she was a super fan. Mm -hmm. She said she wasn't going to make it known that she was. But clearly, it was, it was really hard to conceal. Yeah. Like, I think she thought she was fooling everybody, but I was one of, I just listened and I let you show me who you are, you know, either way. And so I would just sit back and listen to her, and I'm like, how do you know such and such person from season <laughs> four and then 16, and then you can do a cross, and I was like, you're, come yeah. on And now. then responsibilities? Right, like, really? like you okay. know the rules better than Big Brother does, so come on. Okay, so we're, we're running out of time, so okay. two quick questions. Who do you think will win, and who do you think is going down next? You know, their plan is to take Shannon down. They were trying to take her down this week, but I'm really grateful they let me get back to my baby because I don't feel that my breast milk would have sustained for another couple days. Um, so if they can, we'll see. Um, and I think it's really a toss-up in terms of who's going to win at this point. I always say that it would be really funny if Meta pulls it out because he has the most <laughs> ungame game ever known to man. That's what Chuck said. But I, I, I tried to remind them. I said, but you all are really, he's a champion. And there is a sense of focus, dedication, determination that to be that champion level. And he's working out in the gym every day like he is getting ready for battle. <laughs> so I was like, you guys are sleeping on Meta. You should have sent him home when he wanted to go home. They didn't listen to me. Okay. Thank you so much, Keisha. Thank you. So sad we ran out of time, but hug Ella. We're so happy you're home with hey, her. Hey, Munchie. Mommy <laughs> loves you. See you, everybody. <laughs>